In the golden age of steam engines, the Fowler B6 called Talisman stood above all others as the pinnacle of British engineering. But today, they are all but extinct, with most left for scrap. For one man, it is the lifelong dream to fix that. With a little help from his old friend Guy Martin and longtime supporters Morris Lubricants, Alex Sharphouse has set himself the near impossible challenge of recreating Talisman from scratch in time for the Shrewsbury Steam Rally. Can Alex turn his dream into reality? In How to Build a Steam Engine. Today at the workshop, it's judgment day for the project, as Alex welcomes the man who holds the destiny of Talisman in his hands, the Boiler Inspector. If Talisman passes today's test, it will be able to make the historic journey to the steam rally at the weekend in time for Morris Lubricant's 150-year anniversary. If not, Alex's dream could be lying in tatters. I'm here today to do the final steaming test at Talisman. Because of various legislation that we've got now in the UK, he's got to have a, a boiler inspector to look at the boiler before he can use it in the public. As any boiler inspector will tell you, he's got no commercial interest whatsoever. So if the boiler's not safe, no matter how much pressure or cups of tea or bacon butties I'm given, they won't get a boiler ticket. Today's inspection is to carry out the final two tests on the boiler. First up is the external inspection test. This is to make sure all of the joints, fixtures and fittings are safe for use. What's nice and dry? You're okay with them washout plug clearances? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they're, they're a bit close to them rivet heads, weren't yeah. they? No, they're all right. Right. Not touch squares on edge before you take them off. Yeah. You still get a socket. Oh, good. That's all right then. Yeah. Going. Yeah, we're all right. We're just um, boiler inspectors being right round it, um, looked in the firebox, smoke box, and everywhere. And he's happy. It's all it's as dry. It's, it is as dry as a, a drum, really. It's bloody good. Um, so we're just doing the um, safety valves now, accumulation test. For the final steam accumulation test, the engine is heated up to the working pressure of 200 psi to generate as much steam as possible and see if the safety valve capacity is big enough for the heat input. After all of the time spent, effort expended and head scratched during this near impossible task, it all comes down to this. With the steam rally just a few days away, failing this test now would leave Alex so close but yet so far away from achieving his dream. And with the tests complete, it's time to find out what the verdict is. Yeah, I'll uh, get that done for you. Is seriously. That okay? No, that's it. Are you um, yeah, I uh, can't think of hotels. Does that mean it's passed? It's passed. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers. That's it. Yeah. Frame it. That has been a way of life for what? The past. Year. This last year we have put some time, like. yeah, yeah, with proper commitment into that. It's been every, every spare bit of time, every night. Um, we've been all over it, and um, she looks the part. She looks the She's up and running, and kind of never quite thought we'd ever get this far. Really, somehow it just always seems so. Such a big project to do that you only could ever break it down to little bits. I think we'll yeah. build, we'll build a set of wheels, and like get our heads around that, and eventually, so we, we built a set of wheels. We'll build a boiler, yeah. and we've just broke it down like that. So. Um, so yeah, job done. Job done. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. We're there. We're there. We're up and running. Good fun. So we'll see you on the uh, on the road with it. Hey, don't get me name there. Next time on how to build a steam engine, the steam rally. And obviously, Talisman will be the uh, star of the show this weekend. You know, now it's been rebuilt to its former former glory.